Let's be honest here, successful people do a lot of things differently from normal people, even though at one time in their life they probably were normal too. Now in today's video, I wanna share with you five success habits that the people who have figured it all out do on a daily basis. Hey guys, it's Alex Hine, author of Master the Day. Now the very first success habit is that really successful people that I've seen and modeled plan their day out the day before, the night before. So for example, I've actually talked to quite a few athletes and they will say that they have their full programming, strength training, and nutrition routine on a paper that's printed. It's so finite and so rigid and so disciplined that they know exactly what they're doing every single day and they even know when they're gonna periodize their workouts. They know when they're gonna shift their meal plans because they're training more or training less or they're cycling something. They know exactly what they're doing. Just like a business person who has their full schedule written out the night before or an author who says, you know what, tomorrow all I have to do is write a thousand words in my book. The very simple power of having what you're gonna to do tomorrow on one little four by four piece of paper is a game changer as far as productivity goes. Habit number two of really successful people is having a yearly vision, some kind of yearly plan. This is something I started doing about two years ago where I would take, first of all, the vision of what I wanted the next year to look like. So I would deconstruct the whole year from a fitness, health, fulfillment, spirituality, relationships, fun, career point of view. And I would write down, I would type it into this little document exactly what I wanted that to look like in every aspect of life. And then from there, what I would actually do is break it down into a, usually a maximum of three goals. I would break those three goals down into daily habits. And then I would break those daily habits into hour by hour tasks that are gonna allow you to actually do those habits. So that yearly envisioning document has now become a core ritual of mine. Now in a lot of really successful people, you find that it may not be that formalized, but they are crystal clear and concrete about what they're trying to do this year. And you often know that because you ask them and they can give you a response like that. So there's a lot of clarity about what they're trying to do and where they're trying to get to. The third success habit here is that they figure it all out. You know, it's funny, I get questions here all the time on how to do lose weight, gain weight, how to start YouTube, how to write a book, how to have a great relationship, how to be more confident. But you know what really successful people do? they figure it out. And it's funny, once you get into the habit of figuring things out, when you start hanging around normal people, when they're always asking like, how did they do that? How did they do that? Or how do you do this homework? Or how do you how do you get this course or something? It becomes irritating because you've become a problem solver and you're used to saying, okay, I'm losing weight and I'm trying to gain weight or I'm gaining weight, I'm trying to lose weight or I'm not completing my book in time for the launch. And then you think, okay, the normal person would complain, the normal person would say, I don't have the skills, I don't have the training, but really successful people have a figure it out mentality. Because so many goals, especially when you set goals at a very high level, there may be no one else in the world that's done what you're trying to do, at least not the way you want to do it. So what do you do in those kinds of situations? You have to figure it out and create your own map. So you have to create your own treasure map. That's where this idea, this fixer, this kind of tinkerer mentality comes in. Rather than complaining, rather than getting overwhelmed, sit down and figure it out. Now the fourth success habit here is that really successful people get that changing your life is about changing habits. So it's this meta idea of meta habits, really the bigger concept of habits are how we change. All of us at some point, for me three, four years ago, I was still really skinny, although I was working out. I didn't have a girlfriend five years ago. I was not traveling every year to a new country, which was something on my bucket list. I wasn't going after my biggest dream, Chinese medicine. I didn't have a business, I didn't have a book, I didn't have YouTube. All of these things that make my life worthwhile now did not exist. Now, rather than doing what I saw everyone else doing, which was you know, creating vision boards or having some idea of how I wanted to change, I made it very, very tangible. And instead of saying, these are the goals, instead I said, these are the daily habits, the daily rituals that I need to do. Now, once I started doing that, I started spotting this in top Olympians, top CEOs, best-selling authors, and more. And that's when I realized that it's really about reverse engineering goals into daily habits. 
And the reason why I'm not where I was, or why I wasn't where I was, where I wanted to be, was because my daily habits were not of a fit person, a happy person, a successful person, a guy in a happy relationship, a person who had the financial freedom or just a little time off to travel the world. And when you think of it like that, you think in terms of not how are they different, not how is that person that made it different, but what are their habits that they are doing that I'm not doing? And can you see how that changes everything? Because once you start thinking of the habits, then it's practical, then it's tangible, and it's something that you can learn. Okay, what is the fit person doing that I'm not doing? Okay, they probably change how they ate. How did they do that? What did they do? Okay, what is the writer doing that's successful that I'm not? Okay, maybe they're building an online audience, and I didn't do that. What's the person in the happy relationship doing that I'm not? Maybe they forgive their partner's shortcomings, and they take time to do something special every day. So when you think in terms of habits are how I become the next level person, the next level version of myself, it's so easy to be an action biased person. And the fifth success habit of ultra successful people is that they never fully feel lost because most of the time they just model what works. Especially for us at the beginning, no matter the goal of fitness, relationship, happiness, no matter the goal, the fact is, especially at the beginning, you can model somebody So there's no reason to say, I don't know how to do this. What I found is that sometimes when you have the vision of what you want, the how to get there shows up. I didn't know how to get fit. I don't know how to write a book. I didn't know how to get an awesome girlfriend. I didn't know how to make enough money extra to travel the world. I didn't know any of these. And yet, I just looked for people that were already doing it. And then I tried to figure out what those habits were like we talked about. So the fifth success habit is that if you're unclear about what's going to get you to where you want to be, Find a person that already has it and model them. Especially at the beginning, there's no reason not to know with the internet, with so much interconnectivity, there's no excuse for not knowing what to do. That's the wrong question. The big question now is, do you have the guts and the discipline and the courage to actually go do it? So those are five success habits that ultra successful people in every sense of the word do daily. Now, before you go, I want you to leave a comment there below and let me know for you, what is one of those habits that I didn't mention that you would add? Hey guys, it's Alex. Did you like this video? If so, there are really two ways you can stay in touch with me. The first thing is to go over, click the monk and subscribe so you get the next video right when it's out. I'm releasing at least three videos per week, but often a lot more. Next thing is, come on over and check out my book, Master the Day. It's called Master the Day, Eat, Move, and Live Better with the Power of Daily Habits. And it's all about the tiny daily success habits that I learned interviewing people that lost over 100 pounds and kept it off years later in a healthy way. The success habits that not only get your dream body, but also your dream life. And as a special thank you, if you get the book, send me your receipt to alexander at modernhealthmonk.com. I'll send you a one hour bonus video course for free. And one important piece of it is an hour sit down success story with my friend and my student, Mike, who lost 30 pounds. So you can go check that out on Amazon right there. The next thing is come on over to my site, modernhealthmonk.com. I've got a free guide for you there, five daily habits to help you lose your next 20 to 30 pounds. And otherwise, I look forward to seeing you soon.